What do I owe this pleasure? Well, sir, I wondered if I might ask you something. No. Ask someone I like. Someone cool. Professor, can I ask you something? No, Harry. Is there something you wish to tell me? Yes. Off you go. <laughs> Well, so you can send secret messages to your freaking Bye. friends. No, sir. But I haven't had any friends. Not one. Who'd want to be friends with you? I should think you'd be a little more grateful. We've raised you since you were in the bedroom, given you the food of our cat, even let you have Dudley's second baby, purely out of the goodness of our... Oh, you're still here, are you? Yes. Don't say yes in that ungrateful way. Don't say... In that ungrateful way. Don't say in that ungrateful way. Don't say in that ungrateful way. He was their friend. And he f***ed them. What the f are you doing up here? I, I was just. You just punched my Japanese girlfriend. Sorry. Animal sound, and you wish you'd never been born, boy. And f the door. Yes, sir. Tell me how I broke up with Lavender again. She came to visit you in the hospital. And you talked. Where is he? Where's my one one? Has he been asking for me? Piss off. <laughs> but it can't be. I hope he finds me. Because when he does, I'm going to be ready. When he does, I'm going to him. If you want to kill Harry, you'll have to last two. No, only one would tonight. Then it'll be you! Ah! <laughs> oh, you're going to kill me, Harry. Tell them how it happened that night. Tell them how you looked him in the eye. A man who trusted you and killed him. Tell them. I've had a cadaver. Do you think he's all right? Who cares? Now, Harry, now come here. Oh. What will you give me in exchange, Severus? Another. Ronald would like me to tell you that Seamus told him that Dean was told by Pavati that Ronald would like me to tell you that Dean was told by Dean Seamus told him Ronald was looking for you. What? Oh. I'm an owl! Owl! Oh! Owl! More commonly known as wolves. Study hard and you will be punished. Should I tell you to run? You run. Should I tell you to abandon me and yourself? You must do so. We'll go and get our stuff then. What are you talking about, Mr. Weasley? You're going to expel us, aren't you? Not today, Mr. Weasley. Today, Mr. Weasley. You know the prefect's bathroom on the fifth floor? It's not a bad place for a bar. Did you and Ginny do it then? Ginny. I had a period this morning. Ugh. Hermione's got nice skin. Yes. Harry! I've seen it. Blimey, Harry. I didn't know that. Harry, wonder if I might have a word. Shut up! Thirteen years ago, when you stopped. Voldemort. Don't say his name. 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 Voldemort. I'll see you at work. See you at school. Let me get this straight. Sirius Black has escaped from Azkaban. You. Has he ever Dumbledore's got a bit old. What rubbish? Well, he's only... What is he? Fifty? Filthy little mudblood. <gasps> Who was that? 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 <gasps> 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 
Have you ever heard of this spell? It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. And I would appreciate it if you could lower your wand. And I would appreciate it if you could lower your wand. Lower your wand. Lower your wand. Snape! I was just wondering if maybe you wanted to go to the ball with me. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Well, ask someone alive. Someone cool. Potter, it's good to see you. Stay away from me! So now I'll say goodbye, Harry. I feel sure we'll meet again sometime. Stay away from me! Take my hand. Stay away from me! When all this is over, we'll be a proper family. Stay away from me! Hi, can touch you. Stay away from me! Yeah! Cedric Diggory was murdered by Harry Potter. Then so his memory. I'll be in my bedroom, make a noise. And you will mess it up. Aren't they wonderful, darling? How many are there? Six. I counted them myself. Six? But last year, last year I had 37. Yeah, 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 well, some of them are quite a bit bigger than last year. I don't care how big they are. You were by no less than seven muggles. Do you have any idea how serious this is? You have risked the exposure of our underage born. Honestly, Professor Snape, I think it did more damage to us. Silence! I assure you that were you in Slytherin and your rested with me, the both of you would be on poison tonight. As it is, they are not. Professor Dumbledore. Professor McGonagall. Headmaster. These boys have flouted the decree for the restriction of underage born as such. I am well aware of our bylaws, Severus, having written quite a few of them myself. Silence! I want to thank you, Harry. You must have shown me real loyalty down in the chamber. Shut up! 